In Washington, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle saying let special counsel Robert Mueller do his work. This following a New York Times report this la that last June, President Trump demanded the head of the Russia investigation be fired. Ola Lenghi has the latest for us tonight from the White House. Reporters pressed President Trump about a New York Times story that claims Mr. Trump tried to fire special counsel Robert Mueller last June. Fake news, folks. Fake news. What's your message today? Typical New York Times fake stories. According to the Times, President Trump backed down after White House lawyer Don McGahn refused to carry out the president's order and threatened to quit. CBS News has confirmed the president discussed conflict of interest concerns about Mueller with top advisors at the time, but by August, Mr. Trump publicly insisted there was no thought of removing Mueller. Good. I mean, I've been reading about it from you people. You say, oh, I'm going to dismiss him. No, I'm not dismissing anybody. Earlier this week, the president again told White House reporters there's been no collusion and said he looks forward to talking with Mueller. Since Mueller's takeover of the Russia investigation, lawmakers on Capitol Hill have had his back. There's sort of like a fort around Mueller that congressional Republicans, at least congressional Republican leadership, are prepared to defend. Any effort to go after Mueller could be the beginning of the end of the Trump presidency. In August, Senators Lindsey Graham and Cory Booker introduced legislation to create new judicial oversight. The reality is, is we are in a position right now where should the president order the firing of the special prosecutor, uh, we really have no check or balance on his power. The president's attorney is emphasizing White House cooperation with the investigation. So far, Mueller's team has interviewed more than 20 White House employees. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. Now, under the law, it's Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein who has the authority to fire Mueller because Attorney General Jeff Sessions recused himself from the case. Rosenstein has said that he sees no reason to do that.